quickly, the fluid is getting less. If you allow material to solidify for very, very long time, it means that allow fluidity to, to be better. I mean, fluidity will be better and easily flow and so on. Other parameters that affecting fluidity uh, related to the mold itself, mold, mold material, as I told you, so mold design. Mold design, very important in a mold design because mold design, it means that this kind of runner, uh, uh, spiro runner and so on, and riser, so this one also affects the fluidity. So mold design, very important and affecting the fluidity. If you make small channels, then fluidity is very become lower. You need to have a bigger channel to allow material to flow easily to fill all the cavity. Otherwise, fluidity is getting less. Mold material. Mold material means that if you made of steel, then heat transfer will be higher. Material will solidify quickly, mean fluidity was getting less. Uh, other material, which is a low thermal conductivity material, help this one to improve the condition, right? You understand? Uh, mold cavity surface. Mold cavity surface is here. This is a mold cavity surface. If you have a rough surface or smooth surface, a rough surface fluidity is less. Smooth surface fluidity is higher. This one related to different material to be made to manufacturing the mold. Also, so for example, if you made the mold of sand, then it will be rough. Surface will be very rough. Fluidity was getting less. But if you made material, the mold material, for example, like steel or metal generally, then the surface will be smoother. Smooth surface will allow fluidity to, to be increased or to increase the fluidity. A better, definitely better condition. So material allow, uh, uh, this kind of condition allow material to cavity quickly and perfectly. Degree of superheated. Degree of superheated this is very important to affect fluidity and viscosity because if, if you if you increase the temperature up to the boring temperature temperature uh, whenever temperature increase fluidity also increase material become uh, uh, less viscous or viscosity is, is getting less and fluidity is will be higher so degree of superheated rate of boring rate of boring mean if you the boring rate is very low, boring rate is very low, boring rate, then heat transfer will be very high and fluid is getting less. But when the boring rate is, is, is higher, then uh, you can see that uh, heat transfer will be less and fluidity will be better. But if it is very high, this one leading to the fact here, as you know, because we discussed that before, then you get a turbulent flow inside. We don't want to have turbulent flow inside. Yes, we need to increase the flow rate, but we have to avoid having turbulent flow in, in the cast or in a mold. Right. Heat transfer definitely also related to the mold material. Heat transfer related to the mold material. If you make of metal, if you make of sand, if you make a plaster, ceramics, so a different, different material leading to heat transfer, uh, different heat transfer rate, and this one also affecting the fluidity. There are a device they usually use to uh, to check the fluidity. We call it is a spiral mold. This spiral mold, as you can see, this is a spiro. You put a liquid here, and then liquid will move in this channel. It is a standard channel with certain dimension. Then when you put the liquid, liquid will uh, will flow, and then flow, and flow, 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 and stop somewhere, frozen. Frozen at certain conditions. This one is a standard standard device and a standard condition. You put the liquid inside, liquid will move, 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 and then stop at certain time. So like a meter, then you can know what is the fluidity. We call it usually relative fluidity or fluidity index. This one can indicating several material have different values. So this one can just give indication what is the fluidity of this liquid at this temperature. Right. So this is the item that we described. This is a, a characteristic of this is a parameter related to the mold, molten material, uh, which is a viscosity, surface tension, inclusion, solidification pattern. And here it is written as we described. And also this is other parameter related to the mold. 
related to the mold, which is a mold design, mold material, and surface characteristic, degree of superheated, rate of pouring and heat transfer, and also it is written here as we just described in the previous slide. Okay, solidification and uh, cooling of metal. Solidification actually, <clears throat> the word solidification is how to material will solidify, become solid. In case of we have pure uh, material or alloy. In case we talk about pure material or we talk also about alloy. Okay, so... Uh, Uh, in case of pure material, in case of pure material, when you look to the solidification in a pure material, you can see that, you can see that what we have here. Actually, pure material like what? Like uh, aluminum, if you're casting aluminum, if you're casting steel, if you're casting uh, copper or whatever material, just pure material and no other addition, addition to the material meaning alloys and you can see that material this is a boring rate this is a boring rate once you start pouring the liquid once you start pouring liquid in a mold this one will start uh, 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 cool here it's cooling down cooling down cooling down at this point this is a start material start solidification at this point so freezing began freezing began meaning material start to solidify here at this point this is a melting temperature actually you can see that the melting temperature is usually constant temperature. Then material start to, 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 to solidify at this point and then solidification increase until here freezing complete or solidification completed. Completed means all material becomes solid. At this temperature, same temperature, all material becomes solid. Then material again <coughs> cool down, cool down, cool down until reach to the room temperature until reach to the room temperature you can see that this is a pattern of the cooling pattern of the pure material this is a cooling pattern of pure material right when you look to the structure of the material you can see that this is a material attached or close to the mold or in contact with the mold this is a mold actually this is a mold this is a material in contact with the mold, right? This is a material in contact with the mold. So you can see that, you can see that here in, for this material, for this layer which is in contact with the mold, heat transfer actually is very high because in contact with the cold mold, you put inside and it is in contact with the cold mold and the heat transfer will be very high. This material will solidify early while material in the core will still liquid. So here solidification start uh, at the beginning, solidification start on this layer, which is very close or in contact with the mold because the higher heat transfer rate will be here. Later material in a core will solidify. So you can see that. The structure here, the grain here is fine grain. You can see that the grain here outside fibers or outer fiber here, you can see it is a fine grain nice and fine grain but later the grain inside is stretched because this material this material didn't solidify yet one this material this one becomes solid already this one becomes solid still this one is not yet solid later this one would like to solidify when this one solidify need to shrink need to shrink and eyes and damage but still, uh, the outer fiber is become solid already don't allow this material to shrink properly, then material here is stretched. You can see material, the grain here is stretched, as you can see in the middle, because of that. So outer fiber don't allow material inside to shrink properly, so material usually stretched, as you can see here, right. Next is the alloy. Alloy means uh, more than one material. When you said alloy, it is more than one material. So maybe two different materials. So when you come to the two different materials, then solidification pattern of two different material is a bit different. It's a bit different because here you can see 
this for example copper and nickel it's two material it's not one pure material now but it is two material this is a nickel and copper nickel and copper here you can see the solidification pattern happen here in a range of temperature not on a constant temperature but range of temperature why range of temperature actually range of temperature you can see because of because of two material two different material because of two different material so as long as you use two different material one of them have lower melting temperature other one have higher melting temperature then you can see here there are a liquid solid area this is a solid area for example if you look to this uh, alloy which is 50 percent here is a solid area this is a liquid area in between you have liquid solid area one have lower melting temperature one have higher melting temperature material will not solidify at the same temperature or not frozen at same temperature then here this is the boring temperature the material cool down cool down cool down cool down until reach it to solidification point when reach it to solidification point then one material one of the two material will start to solidify here one of two material will start to solidify here the other one is still liquid then you get cool down cool down while you cool down uh, this material becomes solidify other material also will start to solidify at this point all material will solidify see that it is different because of here two different material and these two different material has two different solidification characteristics two different solidification characteristics that's why you can see it is have range of temperature instead of constant temperature have range of temperature also you can see that structure in somehow different the first material here solidify other material here stretched however the lower melting temperature is is later because this one already solidified but later this one come and solidify because have lower temperature with a finer grain so this is also structure in somehow different from the previous case liquid solid when we have a liquid solid when we say that we have a liquid solid it is mixed between liquid and solid so some area is liquid some area is solid right so uh, actually now it is 850 uh, i understand probably you are busy with some something else يا شباب دلوقتي الساعة 8:50 أنا عارف إن أنتم ممكن تكونوا مشغولين عندكم حاجة اللي عايز يمشي أوكي يعني أنا هكمل المحاضرة عادي والمحاضرة هتلاقوها متسجلة زي ما أنتم عارفين اللي عنده حاجة وعايز يمشي أو كده أوكي مفيش مشكلة يعني أنا هكمل المحاضرة لغاية ما يعني لغاية ما وقت المحاضرة يخلص وهي متسجلة إن شاء الله على البلاك بورد تقدر تشوفها في أي وقت يعني أوكي ثانك يو دكتور يو ويلكم يو ويلكم نو بروبليم uh get back again to the what we're discussing about the cooling pattern of the material uh, we said that it is a liquid solid this is a liquid solid liquid solid area mean it is mixed between liquid and solid you can see some part is some part here uh, uh, some parts are solid some parts are liquid we call it is like so you can see this is a structure this is a solid solid liquid you see some area here solid some area is liquid this is a solid, totally solid. This is a totally liquid. So this is a totally solid. The totally liquid here is mixed. We call it is the mushy zone. This is what we call actually. We call it is mushy zone. So this area, which is the mix between liquid and solid, we call it semi-solid or mushy, mushy zone. This is the meaning or this is the name. So we call this one dendrites. Dendrites, this is the, the part as you can see here created or start here the growth here we call it as dendrite which is uh, start with the material when solidified effect of the cooling rate when you have a slow cooling when you have very slow cooling we have slow cooling high cooling rate it depends on the mold material if you have mold material like uh, metal mold material we can control but if you have sand casting or sand mold material then probably it's difficult to control and we have slow cooling rate so when you come to the slow cooling rate if you have a slow cooling rate long long local certification time you get coarse dendrite with a large space you get coarse dendrite with a large spacing between in between 
But if you have fast cooling, you get smaller, 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 smaller dendrites. You get many, many dendrites and very small, I mean, size. it depends on the cooling rate. So it get very fine one. The many will be created and everyone is very small in dimension and also is small. If you have very fast cooling, very high quenching, very fast cooling, you get amorphous, no structure, like glass. When material become actually very brittle. So this is the amorphous, we call it amorphous, without any crystal, no crystal will be uh, uh, created and you get amorphous structure. When grain size increase, mean definitely is you have low cooling rates, low cooling rate. When when, you, when you grain grain size decrease, if the grain size decrease, meaning that you have a higher cooling rate. Slow cooling rate, slow cooling rate, you get bigger grain. Slow cooling rate, you get bigger grain. Fast cooling rate, you get small grain. When you have a small grain or the grain size decrease, trends is increased, and the brittle material become brittle. So here. Whenever you you have a higher cooling rate, whenever you have a higher cooling rate, whenever you have a higher cooling rate, you get smaller grain size. When you get smaller grain size, strengths strengths become material become higher strengths and become also more brittle. Micro porosity also will be decreased. Tendency to to crack, to crack tendency to create crack during solidification also decreased. This is the effect of the cooling rate. Then you can see the effect of the cooling rate here. You can see here is the time. What's the time? Time is 8, 11, 40 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, 102 minutes. Meaning you can here you see material start solidified. Then there it here start to uh, create it. So then there it. So material here start solidify later when you have more time. This kind of the direct meet each other and they start to the area solidification area increase more time solid area increase more and more and more and finally until you reach to the full solidification or material totally solidified. This is the effect of the time the cooling rate. This is the effect of the carbon, for example, in in in, in steel. We increase carbon content. This is at certain carbon content. Here we increase the carbon content. Here we increase carbon content. Actually, you can see that whenever you have a higher carbon content, you can see the behavior of material become different. Now it's like a low when you increase one material, uh, increase the percentage of one material on the another, then you get different behavior. Definitely, material get different behavior because certain material have higher melting temperature, another material have lower melting temperature. Then you get different behavior. So at low carbon here, low carbon content here, you can see this is the behavior of the material. Here, whenever you have higher carbon content, this is a behavior. Behavior here, material is different. <laughs> whenever you increase lower carbon content, you can see the material behavior or the solidification or the pattern solidification pattern of material also become different this mainly related to the content in the material have different content different percentage definitely material behavior will be different in the cooling and this is also indicating that so this is a dendrite here can you see that this is a dendrite will be created bigger one smaller one very very small one tiny one it's related to the cooling rate so cooling rate also affecting the dendrite creation Next, we're going to talk about the solidification time. Actually, this is very, very, very important, solidification time. So solidification time, this is whatever we call a Cheverny rule or Cheverny law. Cheverny, this is the person who uh, 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 obtains this relation. We say that solidification time equal to constant multiplied by volume of the cast divided by surface area of the cast square. This is a solidification time. Actually, solidification time, what solidification time? This is really very important. I hope you understand it very well because it's really very important and it's very uh, uh, need your attention actually to understand. So solidification time actually, it means that this material here, you put a liquid inside, 
After a while, material will start to solidify. Material here will start to solidify. After some time, more material will solidify. Can you see that? More material will solidify. After some time, more material will solidify, and so on. And finally, material will be totally solidified. At the end of the, 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 the time, at the end of the time, the cooling time, material will be totally solidified. So he said solidification time. Solidification time, it means that the time needed to for material to be totally solidified. Material needed for the, the time needed for material to be totally solidified equal to constant volume of the cast, volume of the cast divided by surface area of the cast square. So this is a Cheverny law. This is a Cheverny law. Actually, this constant, this constant here, this constant, it depends on the constant in the equation here, so the time equal to constant, volume divided by surface area square. The constant here, the constant here, and listen to me carefully, please. Constant here is depend on the mold material, pouring temperature, and and so mold material, the liquid material, mold material, and pouring temperature. Three things. Let me highlight three things. It depend on mold material. This is the one thing. Mold material means the materials that you use to manufacturing the mold. Second factor is the metal that you cast. Third factor is the boring temperature. So three items, three factors, very important factor. So C, which is a constant, depend on this one, depend on this one, three factor. Right. So the constant is same. C is same. The constant is same. If you cast using same mold material, same casting material, same boring temperature. In case of you have these items are same, then C is same. The constant is same. So constant, this is very important. The constant is same if you have same molding material, same casting material, same boring temperature. But if any of these items different, then constant will be different. So solidification time equal to constant multiplied by volume divided by surface area square. Okay, let's have an example. Let us have an example about solidification time. So solidification time, this is the equation. The, let's read together and understand. A cylinder with height to diameter ratio of unity. This is a cylinder. This is a cylinder here, as you can see. This cylinder with height to diameter. Height, this is the height. Diameter here. Height to diameter ratio is unity. Means that this is a diameter. This is a cylinder. This is a cylinder. Let me just highlight. This is a cylinder here. As you can see here. So this is a cylinder. This is a diameter. Then the height is equal to the diameter. Because he said that the ratio, height to diameter ratio is unity. Solidify in three minutes. This one solidify in three minutes. It means that TS equal to three minutes. The time solidification time three minutes. Solidify in three minutes. So, so let me just highlight. It is solidified in three minutes. Then it, you can understand from here that the solidification time is three minutes. Solidification time is three minutes. So this one. So you can see solidification time is three minutes. Okay, so what? Solidification time is three minutes. Solidification time is three minutes in a sand casting operation. Okay, this casting done in sand casting. What is the solidification time? What is the solidification time? This is a question. What is the solidification time if the height of cylinder become double? If the height of cylinder become double diameter? Means that H equal to 2D. Then let me conclude. The, this kind of example says that when this is a diameter, when H equal to D, when H in case of H equal to D, 
Uh, solidification time is three minutes. When H equal to D, solidification time of this cylinder is three minutes. If the, the question, if the H equal to 2D, what is the solidification time? Put the equation or use the equation. Let's use the equation. Solidification time equal to constant multiplied by volume divided by surface area squared. Then we need to obtain the volume and we need to obtain the surface area. So the volume of the cylinder and surface area of the cylinder. Volume of the cylinder equal to what? The volume of the cylinder equal to the, the area multiplied by the height. This area, right? Volume of the cylinder, volume of the cylinder equal to the volume of the cylinder equal to the area, which is a by R square, by R square, this is the area here, by R square, this is the area, right? Multiplied by H, area multiplied by H. So by R square multiplied by H, which is equal to by divided by 4 D square, R become D. Then here you by divided by 4, by divided by 4, but instead of R, D square multiplied by H, which is the height. This is the volume of the cylinder, right? The surface area, surface area of the cylinder, what is the surface area of the cylinder? The surface area of the cylinder, listen to me carefully. Listen to me carefully. The surface area of the cylinder is summation of the whole area. Summation of the all area in contact with the mold. In contact with the mold. All area meaning the upper area and lower area. This is another area here. You can see that. This is another area. And then what else? Here, all this area are in contact with the mold. All this area. All this area in contact with the mold. So, let me one by one, upper area by R square, low area by R square, meaning that two by R square here. So this is the upper area and lower area. So you can see that upper area and lower area. So we said that surface area, meaning summation of all area summation of all area in contact with the mold, upper area and lower area, which is a 2 by R square. By R square and by R square, meaning 2 by R square plus. We need also here the area here, this area which is in contact with the mold, which is a 2 by R perimeter of this one, 2 by R multiplied by H. 2 by R multiplied by H, you get the area here. This is the area. So 2 by R H. So the surface area equal to 2 by R square plus 2 by R H. Change R and put D, then become by divided by 4, 2, 2, this 2, multiply by by divided by 4 D square plus by D H, by D H. This is the surface area. So this is the surface area of the cylinder. This is the volume of the cylinder. We need, we need to know what is the volume. What is the surface area so we can apply in the equation? So, okay, now we know the volume and surface area. Let's apply here. Let's apply here. Then volume equal to what? By divided by 4 d square h. By divided by 4 d square h here. This is a volume. This is a volume, right? Volume equal to, as you can see here, by divided by 4 d square h from here. And we know that h here equal to bar, h equal to d. Then we can replace them. You can see by divided by 4 d cube because we change here h equal to d. Surface area also in same way we obtain surface area. We apply here. This is surface area. Then you can see that surface area equal to. Ah, this is exactly the same equation. We bring here same equation. Then we change here. This is one same, which is a two. Come here. This one same. You can see that this is the surface area. Then two with the four. They become by divided by two d square. This is the first part. Second part is a by d h. H here equal to d. H equal to d. Then by d square. 
then become by d square then you total is 3 1.5 by d square this is the surface area so this is a volume let me highlight this is a volume of the cylinder in this case this is the surface area of the cylinder in this case when h equal to d. this is a volume this is the surface area we know that the solidification time equal to three minutes <clears throat> so solidification time equal to three minutes in the equation this is a volume this is the surface area solidification time equal to three minutes then put the equation ts equal to c v divided by a square then uh, c this one three minutes this one equal to three minutes c multiplied here this is a volume you bring the volume here bring the volume here to here in the equation and bring surface area to the here in the equation then you, uh, you apply here a square then you get c three minute three minute equal to c you uh, uh, <coughs> this is this square d cube this is d square then you get uh, here three divided by two then this one d cube this is d square and we have square here then you get d square divided by 36 then you get the relation c equal to the constant here the constant here in this equation equal to uh, 183 multiplied by 36, 3 minutes, multiplied by 36 divided by d square, meaning 108 divided by t square. This is the C. <coughs> From here, we obtain the constant C. The question is, what is the solidification time if the height of the cylinder double? Now we need to know what is the solidification time in the second case when the height equal to 2D, when the height equal to 2D. Then you go to this one, then in case of H equal to 2D. Second case, in case of H equal to 2D. This is the second case, right? We know generally that volume equal to by divided by 4D square H and surface area equal to here also by DH. Here you can see that this is the H here, and here this is the H also. In a second case, H equal to, in a second case, H equal to, you need to apply here 2D and H, H in a second case equal to 2D, not D but 2D. Then you need to apply what is the new volume new volume in the second case, then volume equal to by divided by 4, d square by divided by 4, d square multiplied by h, which is equal to 2d. <clears throat> so this is, uh, you can see that this is a volume in the second case. Surface area also in the second case equal to, from the equation by divided by 4, d square multiplied by 2 plus by d multiplied by h, h here to 2d then this is the equation then become here this is the surface area so this is the surface area in the second equation so this is the surface area in the second equation as you can see so this is the volume this is the volume in the second uh, case when h equal to 2d this is the surface area when h equal to 2d then we need to know what we need to know what is the solidification time in this case so solidification time, we don't know what is solidification time. Solidification time equal to constant. Constant, this is a constant actually. This is a constant, which is a C. So solidification time equal to constant. Constant multiplied by V. This is a V here. This is a V divided by surface area. So this is a V. As you can see that, this surface area square, in a second case, when h equal to 2d, this is a v, this is a surface area square. This is a constant. Constant we obtain from where? From the previous slide that we obtained in the last section. So constant we obtain from previous slides, then c multiplied by v divided by surface area. Then you apply here, you get d squared divided by 25, this one here this section or this item here you get d squared divided by 25 here we have c equal to 108 divided by d squared d squared goes to d squared then you get 4.32 minute 
the time needed to solidify the cylinder in the second case. So the time, the time needed to solidify cylinder in the first case, it was three minutes. It was given. So in the first case, when the diameter equal to the height equal to the diameter, the solidification time of the cylinder was three minutes it was given to me it was given to me but in the second case we need to know what's the solidification time we apply here we find that in the second case when h equal to 2d the solidification time is increased to 4.32 it means that whenever you get a bigger dimension it means that whenever you get a bigger dimension solidification time also increase whenever you have a bigger dimension whenever you have a bigger diameter is same but the only height become double. So it means that whenever you have a bigger dimension, also solidification time is usually increased. Okay. This helping us to design the riser. Chevron law, we're going to use now a Chevron law to design the riser. This is the riser. Do you remember? This is the riser. Do you re remember what is the riser? The riser is, is this part actually is reservoir. Riser is reservoir. Riser here is reservoir. Riser being used to deliver liquid to compensate shrinkage of the material. I remind you, I remind you about the riser. Riser is a re liquid reservoir. You put a liquid, you pouring liquid here, liquid will fill all cavity and riser as well. I told you before riser, must maintain liquid for longer time after the main cavity frozen. It means that main cavity froze solidify earlier. Later, riser should be solidified, meaning solidification time, please listen to me carefully, means that solidification time of the riser must be longer than solidification time of the main cast. Solidification time of the riser must be longer than solidification time of the main part. It means main part will solidify early, riser will solidify later. Otherwise, no meaning. No meaning. Riser must solidify later. So riser, riser must maintain liquid for longer time to deliver the liquid to, 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 to compensate shrinkage happen in the main cavity. فاهمين يا شباب؟ يعني اتمنى انتوا فاهمين نقول بالعربي يعني لازم ان الرايزر ده يحتفظ بالليكويد لونجر تايم لزمن اطول لازم ان الرايزر ده يكون عنده ليكويد بعد بعد وانا بقول اهو بعد ما المين بارت سوليديفاي المين بارت سوليديفاي الاول بعدين الرايزر سوليديفاي ليتر عشان الرايزر يبقى عنده الابيليتي ان هو ديليفر ليكويد تو كومبنسيت شرينكج عوض ان ال الانكماش اللي حصل او النقص في الابعاد ده تيجي الانكماش اللي حصل عشان كده لازم الرايزر مينتين ليكويد فور لونجر تايم سو ناو وي جوينج تو يوز تشيفرني لو ناو وي جوينج تو يوز تشيفرني لو اور رولز هير تو ديزاين ذا رايزر تو مينتين ليكويد فور لونجر تايم ليتس دو ات وان باي وان توجذر ليتس ريد ذس اكزامبل اند سي هاو وي كان ابلاي تشيفرني رولز اور تشيفرني لو تو ديزاين ذا رايزر a cylindrical riser. Now this is the example. A cylindrical riser. This is a riser. This is a spiral. This is a riser. This is a main cavity, right? So this is a spiral. This is a riser. This is a main cavity. Cylindrical riser. This one riser. He said cylindrical riser. It means that the riser shape is cylindrical. So it is cylindrical. Cylindrical riser. Tamani says that it must be cylinder. No, it it, it not it not it should it should be anything. It could be anything. Not only cylinder, but it could be anything. It could be cylinder. It could be any any other shape. But here in an example, it is cylindrical shape. So it is cylindrical riser. This one cylindrical riser. The riser here cylindrical shape as I I, I show you here hmm? to be designed to be designed for a sand casting mold. This is a sand casting mold. The height of cylinder, this one, the height of cylinder here equal to diameter. H equal to D. This is the diameter of the riser. This is the height of the riser. The height of the riser here equal to A equal to diameter. The casting, this is the casting, yeah, Shabab. The casting is here. This is the main cavity. This is the casting bar. 
the casting is a cube the casting here ده شكله ايه cube the casting is a cube each side equal to 2 meaning 2 2 and 2 2 inch 2 inch 2 inch بالتاكيد احنا في ان اكزام ويل نوت يوزنج انش بس وي يوزنج ميتر سيستم بس اني واي ذس از ان اكزامبل سو ايفري وان از 2 انش ام ات از ات از ديزاير ذات ات از ديزاير ذات سو ذس از ذا كاست ذس از ذا رايزر ات از ديزاير ذات ذا سوليديفيكيشن تايم اوف ذا رايزر سوليديفيكيشن تايم اوف ذا رايزر ات از ديزاير ذات احنا عايزين نوصل لده ان السوليديفيكيشن تايم اوف ذا رايزر شود بي 25% جريتر ذان ذا سوليديفيكيشن تايم اوف ذا كاست مين سوليديفيكيشن تايم اوف ذا كاست ويتش از ذا تي سي TC is a solidification time of the cast. Let me highlight this one. TC is a solidification time of the cast. TR is a solidification time of the riser. So we need that TR solidification time of the riser 25% greater than. It must be greater than. It must be. Must be greater than solidification time of the cast. The solidification time of the riser must be greater than. لازم يكون اطول يا شباب لازم الرايزر يحتفظ بالليكويد لونجر تايم سو سوليديفيكيشن تايم اوف ذا رايزر ماست بي يو كانوت جاست ميك ات شورتر اف يو ميك ات شورتر تايم هير ذير نو مينينج ذيس وان ويل نوت ديليفر ليكويد تو كومبوزيت شيرينج سو ات ماست بي لونجر سو وي ات از ديزاير ذات ذا تايم سوليديفيكيشن تايم اوف ذا رايزر ماست بي 25% لونجر ذان سوليديفيكيشن تايم اوف ذا كاست ات مين ذات Time of the riser must be equal to 1.25, 20%, 25% time than TC casting time. This is the condition. C here equal to 15. The constant, constant, the Chevenny low constant, which is C, this one equal to 15 meter per inch square, right? Determine the following. There are several items we would like to identify. Right. What? One by one. First, volume of the cast. This is the cast. This is the riser. First thing we need, what is the volume of the cast? Volume of the cast, 2, 2, 2. 2, 2, 2, meaning 8 inch. So 8 inch is the volume of the cast. Second, surface area of the cast. We need to know what is the surface area here. Surface area here means that what is the meaning of surface area? The area of all surface in contact with the mold. This area, can you see that? Also this area. Also this area. Six area, six faces. We need the area of six faces. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need the area, the total, the summation of six area of six faces are in contact with the mold. Then it is two multiplied by two. Here is cubes in six multiplied by two, multiplied by two. Six multiplied by two and two multiplied by four, meaning 24 inch square. This is the surface area of the cast. Surface area of the cast. Next, what is the time of the solidification, the casting solidification? Time of the solidification, TC equal to what? TC mean this one. TC mean the, the solidification time of the cost. Equal to what? Equal to C, V divided by A squared. C equal to 15 is given, is given. V is a volume of this guy, which is A. Surface area, which is the surface area of this guy, which is 24. Then you get solidification time. The solidification time of the cast is 1.67 minutes. Solidification time of the cast, solidification time of this one, uh, equal to 1.67. Okay, now we would like to maintain the solidification time of the riser 25% longer than the solidification time of the cast. Solidification time of the cast actually, Shabab, solidification time of the cast is 1.67 minutes. This is the solidification time of the, of the what? Of the cast. But we would like to have solidification time of the riser bigger than this one. 25% bigger than this one. So what is the solidification time of the riser? Solidification time of the riser is 1.67 multiplied by 
then solidification time. Next, what is the solidification time of the riser? What is the solidification time of the riser? It is 1.67, which is the solidification time of the cast multiplied by 1.25. Why? Because I would like to maintain the solidification time of the riser 25% longer. Then it is 1.25 TC, then you can obtain 2.8. Then solidification time of the cast 1.67, solidification time of the riser now is 2.08. Someone can ask me, can we make it longer? Yes. If you would like to make it 50%, then 1.5. If you would like to make it 80%, then 1.8. Then it depends on what you need. Then you can control the time. Whatever you time you increase here, you get different time here. So higher time is possible. It depends on what is the casting material. Then now we know that H equal to D is given to me that in a riser H equal to D, then volume of the riser, we need to obtain the volume and so, uh, volume and surface area of the riser. Volume of the riser, which is a volume of cylinder equal to by R square multiplied by H, or by divided by 4D square multiplied by H. Then by divided by 4D square, and H equal to D, then by divided by 4D cube. This is a what? This is a volume of the riser. This is a volume is the riser as a function of D. This is the volume of the riser as a function of D. And surface area of the riser. Surface area of the riser, we know that. It is the upper surface, lower surface, and here the perimeter surface. We need to we need to consider all surface in contact with the mold. It, it is equal to by divided by 4, as we obtained in the previous slide. By divided by 4d squared multiplied by 2 plus uh, by d squared multiplied by uh, it is by d squared because here h equal to d directly it is by divided by 4d squared multiplied by 2 plus by dh by dh because a perimeter multiplied by the h this is the surface area this is the surface area of Cylinder. This is a surface area of cylinder. It is equal to by divided by 4d square multiplied by 2. This is the summation of the upper area and lower area plus by dh or 2 by r, 2 by r multiplied by h or by dh. h here equal to d. Then you apply here. Then you get this is the surface area. So this is a surface area of the cylinder in case of h equal to d as a function of d right so this is the volume this is the volume of the cylinder this is the surface area of the cylinder next is the diameter we need to know what is the diameter of the riser and what is the height of the riser the diameter you apply the rule you apply chevron rule this is the tr tr here we said that tr is obtained already 2.8 minutes, this is the TR, right? Then you can apply here, this is the TR, TR, you bring TR here. You bring TR here, this is the TR, this is the solidification time. This is the solidification time of the riser equal to, it is 2.08, which is 25% higher than solidification time of the cost. So solidification time of the riser equal to constant, which is given, which is 15, multiplied by V, V is here, this is the V, this is the volume of the riser as here, this is the surface area of the riser as here, square, then you can apply, you can just get uh, here, from here you get one equation, you get equation in function of diameter, you solve the equation, you get diameter equal to, this is the diameter equal to 2.24 inch, this is the diameter of the riser and definitely, the height equal to the diameter, then height, the height equal also to 2.24 inch. So this is the riser dimension. This is the riser dimension, the height and diameter. If you design, if you design the riser with this dimension, for sure, for sure, solidification time of the riser will be 25% longer than the solidification time of the main cast. 20, 25% longer than the time of solidification of the main cast.
If you would like to 150, then you make it 150. If you make 150, you get here, you get here more time. Then time solidification time will be higher when you apply here. You get a bigger riser. Definitely, they mentioned will be bigger. Then if you need 150 percent or you need 50 percent longer, then definitely dimension of the riser will be bigger to provide this kind of or to satisfy this kind of condition. I hope you understand, and definitely you don't understand me. If you don't understand me, or if there are any issue you don't understand, then you can just come to me, and we can discuss definitely in the office hour. You are very welcome. Just move forward and see another example. It's a really nice example. Here, let's read together and understand. It is related to riser design. A cylindrical riser is to be designed. This is a cylindrical riser. Here, as I told you, cylindrical riser is to be This is a riser, cylindrical riser to be designed. It is not necessarily to be cylinder. Could be any shape. I mean, luckily here, riser is cylindrical shape. Don't just make it as, uh, as a standard and all time it is no no it is not but it commonly commonly designed as a cylindrical shape so cylindrical riser is to be designed so we need to design this cylindrical riser we need to design this cylindrical riser the length of the cylindrical riser is too high so h equal to 2d he told me like this it's given like h equal to 2d the part cast this is the part cast the cast part here is this is a cast part and this is a dimension in centimeter this is the part that we would like to cast this is the part that we would like to cut and the, those these are the dimension is given in centimeter right determine the dimension in the riser so what is the dimension what is the diameter and what is the height of the riser to maintain time for 30 percent longer then solidification time of the riser is 130, 1.3 time of the cast. We need to maintain the liquid in the riser for 30% longer time than the time, solidification time of the cast. Mean the time of the riser must be bigger, must be bigger, 1.3 time of the cast. So what is the dimension? The question is, what is the diameter and what is the height of the riser? Let's just move forward. This is whatever we know. Start with, with what we know. We know that the cast, dimension of the cast, we know. So we usually start with what we know. Because we know the dimension of the cast, we will start with the cast. So this is the dimension of the cast. Can you see that? This is the dimension. We need to calculate the volume of the cast. We need to calculate the surface area of the cast. The volume of the cast is equal to volume of uh, uh, cube here, which is... Uh, the, the total volume and we subtract the volume of this cavity so total volume it is 6.5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 8 this is the total volume and you subtract this area which is 2.5 2.58 then you subtract 2.5 2.5 8 then this is the volume of the cast when you come to the surface area you have to count every area in contact with the mold it means that this area I remind you again, this area. Then surface area, actually every area, we need to have summation of all area, all area. And this is the one area. How many area here? This is the one area and another area in this side. What else? We have another two areas. This one, can you see that? Okay, this is another area. This is one area and another one in the other side. This is two area. Okay, what else we have here? This area. This area. Can you see that? We need to count this area and this area. Both same are equal. This one and this one. What else? Is it? Is it? No, still remaining this area we need to count this area this is two area one here and one here and still remaining you need to count again this area you have to consider all area and also still one area below 
there are one area below here you need to consider as well. So this is all areas. This is all area. You have to count every area in contact with the moon. When I said surface area, it means that you must count every area in contact with the moon. So this one, this one, other one, this one, and this one, this one, and this one, this one, and the one below. So every area you have to count. Right? So this is the surface area of the cast. This is the surface. So this is the volume of the cast. Now it is 158. And this is the surface area. 247.5 centimeter square volume and surface area of the cast now we know right then we know that we know that equation said like what time of the riser equal to 1.3 time of the cast we would like to maintain the liquid in the riser for 30 percent longer than solidification time of the cast and the time of the riser equal to 1.3 time of the cast both the equation the time of the riser 1.3 times the cost both the equation this is the equation cv divided by area equal to cv divided by area 1.3 C 1.3 multiply by CV divided by area. C will go with the C equal to C R equal here. C R R equal. Why C R equal? Why C R equal? Because because this one, if you go back, if you go back, you see that it is this is a riser and this is a cast. Both riser and the cast have same. Huh? Listen to me carefully. Three three item you need to check same liquid yes same liquid right same mold material yes same mold material same boring temperature yes same boring temperature if you have if you have same liquid same mold material and same boring temperature then a constant you will use here equal to the constant you use here so constant in case of riser and cast are same constant being used here and here are same same liquid same mold material and same boring temperature you understand me right then come again so this is the equation this is the time here time here equal to cv divided by a square equal to 1.3 cv divided by a square then c is equal cr equal here and here cr equal then go this is the riser right this is the riser this is the cost in a cost we know the volume volume is 158 we calculated in the previous slide then 1.3 multiply volume is 158 surface area of the cost also we know here this is the volume of the cylinder and this is the surface area of the cylinder uh, volume of the cylinder already we obtained in a, in a previous slide. It is by divided by 4d squared multiplied by L, which is L here equal to 2d. We need to apply again 2d. And he said L, L or H doesn't mean uh, H. Uh, we put here H here L. So it is same actually. So this one L, L is, is, is this one. It is exactly same. And L also here is this one. Right, so it is by divided by 4L, which is the H, and here surface area equal to 2 by divided by 4D square plus by DL. Right, and then here we need to apply, then L here equal to 2, 2D, and L here equal to 2D, you apply, then you get equation. This value we know, this value we know, and then you get equation as a function of D, because we remove H and to consider as a D, then you get one equation in D, then you can obtain D. So this is the diameter. And then L or H equal to 2D, then you can obtain H. So this is the diameter. <coughs> this is the length or height of the riser. So this is the diameter. Diameter and the height of the riser. Right? This is the diameter and the height of the riser to maintain, to maintain liquid for 30%. 30% time longer than freezing time or solidification time of the cast. This is a riser dimension to maintain liquid for 
longer time than the time uh, of solidification or solidification time of the main cast. What cast? Cast shown in previous slide with the dimension shown in the previous slide. If you would like to increase the time, make it uh, 1.5, 1.6, 1 1.8, definitely this dimension will become bigger. So bigger time leading to bigger dimension. Bigger time leading to bigger damage, right? I hope it is clear and understood. And definitely you can ask me anytime if you have any issue. Uh, another example, it is a nice example. Uh, let's just read it quickly and try to understand and solve it together. A 50 millimeter, six square, six square, six. it is 50 millimeter here. Can you see that? It's 50 millimeter, six square blade. This is a six square because here this one equal x and x. This is a 50 millimeter six square bread. Um, and right cylinder, right cylinder here. This is cylinder. Can you see that? This is cylinder with a radius of radius, radius, not diameter, radius of 100 millimeter, diameter divided by two, and the height is 50 millimeter. So radius is 100 millimeter and the height is 50 millimeter. There are two parts here. This is our first part. This is the second part, right? Then this is blade and right cylinder with radius and height. Each have same volume. It means that this is the volume one. This is the volume two. So volume one equal to volume two. The volume, the volume of this plate equal to the volume of this cylinder. The volume of the blade equal to the volume of the cylinder. So each have same volume. If, if each is to be cast, this is the cast bar. This is another cast bar. This is not riser. This is not riser. This is a cast bar. If you would like to cast this one, and if you would like to cast this one. So if each to be cast using cylindrical riser, we need cylindrical riser to cast this one and the cylindrical riser to cast this one. So we need cylindrical riser for casting this one, and another cylindrical riser for casting this one. Here, boring material, same, liquid, same, and uh, uh, mold material is same in both cases. So constant is same. In this, consider constant same in both cases. Uh, well, we need riser now, one riser to cast here, and one riser to cast here. Will the two parts require same riser to ensure proper feeding? يعني هل إحنا الرايزر اللي إحنا نستخدمه عشان نعمل كاستنج للجزء ده والرايزر اللي إحنا نستخدمه عشان نعمل كاستنج للجزء ده same dimension? Can we use same riser? The question is, can we use same riser to cast this one and same dimension to cast this one? Because of the volume is constant. طبعاً we cannot ensure that. We cannot, I mean, compare based on the volume. We cannot compare based on the volume. You can compare only based on time. We need to know what is the solidification time here and what is the solidification time here so we can decide what is the riser dimension to be used with this one and what is the riser dimension to be used with this one. And whether we see whether the dimension could be same or not. So we know the volume here, volume here of the cylinder. We know the volume of the cylinder because you know the diameter or radius and height. Then volume here we know. And here volume is same. Then we can obtain the here, the dimension here. So dimension can be obtained. So this is the first one. We need to obtain the volume here and surface area here. So first one, you need to obtain the volume here and surface area here. And we need to also to obtain first the volume equal to the volume. You get the dimension, the missing dimension. You obtain the volume here, which is equal to this one. And you need to obtain surface area here. And definitely, 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 the surface area here different from the surface area here. Then you need to calculate the surface area here and surface. Volume is same, yes. Constant is same, yes. But surface area here different from the surface area here. Then you go and apply an equation. In the first case, first case, this is a riser. You get the volume of the riser. This is the volume of the riser. Sorry, 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 I'm sorry. The volume of the cast one. This is the volume of the cast. This is not riser. 
the volume of the cast one, this is the cast one, this is the volume of the cast one. And this is the surface area of the cast one. So this is the volume and surface area. Right, so this is the surface area. So this is the volume of uh, cast one. This is the cast one, volume of the cast one. This is the surface area of the cast one, based on the damage. And then you apply an equation. Then apply an equation for cast one. So this is the equation of the cast one. You can see that uh, time time to solidify of the cast one equal to C multiplied by this is a volume. This is a volume and this is the surface area squared. Then you get this equation, right? So this is the equation here as a function of C. We don't know what is the value of C. As a function of C here, you can see that it is two points, the solidification time 2.78 multiplied by 10 minus 4 C. This is the solidification time of the first part. You apply the same in the second part. Second part, first you say volume is same, you obtain L or X. Then L can be obtained or X can be obtained then it is 0.177 meters. Then you obtain first the missing information. Because the volume here equal to the volume here, then you obtain the missing information. Second one, the volume is same. You obtain the, the surface area. Now we know the value of X or L. Then you can obtain the surface area. Then here is the surface area. This is the volume and surface area. You apply here, you get the time of the plate, the time solidification time of the plate equal to constant. This is a volume. Volume is same actually. C is same. Volume is same, but surface area is not same. Then you get different time. So this is a time to solidification time of the second part. So then what you can see, the first one 2.78 10 bar minus 4. This one 2.56. Then the time here, the time here. Can you see that? The time to solidify cylinder is bigger than the time to solidify in case of the square plate. It means that riser here must be bigger than here. You cannot use same riser. You cannot use same riser dimension because here this one needs longer time. I mean the cast here will solidify a longer time than the cast in here. Then the cast here need a bigger riser. Bigger riser for bigger time. This one smaller riser for a smaller time. Then the question is the, que the question is is it is it possible to use the same riser dimension to cast the two parts? The, the answer is no. We cannot use same riser dimension to cast the two different parts because surface area are different, solidification time are different. Definitely, riser also will be different. In the first case, riser will have bigger dimension than the riser in the second case. So, therefore, the cylindrical cast, this one cylindrical cast, will take longer to solidify and thus require bigger riser. Thus require bigger riser. This is the answer of the question. Okay, shrinkage. I will stop here. And next time, inshallah, we'll discuss about shrinkage. Uh, as you can see here, this is the end of the uh, solidity time and riser design. Still, I'm telling you, if you have any question, if you don't understand, you come to me in the office hour. You are very welcome. In office hour, كل حد وثلاث وخميس من واحدة ونص لغاية كم لغاية الساعة ثلاثة. I will be there. If you have any question, you are very welcome. Uh, that's it. Next time, inshallah, I will start discussing about the shrinkage. Right. I will stop here classes. Thank you very much and see you, inshallah, next time. Assalamu alaikum, gamiya.